good condition, so that we do not have to have experience disaster. What we call in Vietnam is to prevent is better than to cure. Yes, Vietnamese, we say like that. We all know this. Every nation we say the same thing, but we just don't do it. We just don't prevent things. We just do things and then reap the results and then we cry. <laughs> we have been through lives like 30 years, 40 years, 50 years now. We should have known a little bit more about this ephemeral nature of life. We should turn back to God now so that the day we leave this world, God open the kingdom for us. Buddha welcome us, not the darkness, not the evil plan of existence, what we call Satan, power or negative power, or the power of Maya. So I am here, like everywhere else, just to offer you a way to find your own greatness. Yeah. With God, well and good. With Buddha, it's also well and good. Without God, without Buddha, you still can find your greatness because you are that. You're born from God. You're bound to go back to God. Whether you believe or not believe, you are that. You cannot escape anyhow. So I just want to offer you what I have found as a treasure, hidden treasure within myself. And I know the hidden treasure is within you as well. I would like to only to help you to know your greatness your self-worth, and then you live in the world as king, as saint, as Christ did, as Buddha did, and not so having inferior complex and not doing your work well and not sleeping well, having guilt conscience, having sickness, disease, body and mind. This is my purpose. Now, in order to uh, find the true Buddha nature in yourself or to join the land of Buddha nature, can you do it like in everyday life or do you have to be a um, Tsu Jiaren? Oh, you do it in everyday life. You no need to become a monk and you have already become a lay person, so you stay like that. There is no interference to enlightenment whether you have your hair long or short, just the way you choose to live your life. You choose to be living with family and friends. I choose to serve your family, your friends, and my family, my friends, <laughs> in a more non-attached way, in a more universal way. Yeah, uh, This is a matter of choice only. Everyone can know the Buddha nature without becoming a monk or a nun. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> How do you uh, understand good and evil? You want to know my opinion, right? Yes. You see, according to all the understanding of majority people, good is what makes others happy and content and joy. Evil is what harming others make themselves sorrow for our own benefit. But you said our true nature is Buddha or Christ. Yes. So where does good and evil come? Yes, that's right. Where does it fit? Also come from Christ and come from Buddha nature. Now, I do not uh, condemn or blame people for being bad or evil. It is because they are not satisfied with the way of life here in this world. So they try to struggle for something better maybe just for their own good. But that is because in the very deep memories of their wisdom, they know they had something before, they had all before. Yeah, uh, I have told you that we are Buddha, we all came from a great source, the highest kingdom where we have everything. And now we are here, deprived of so many things. And so we become uh, anxious, become suffer. So we struggle for something great, for some comfort, and we think that will comfort our soul. Yeah, That is because our Buddha nature, our Christ's wisdom inside knows we had many things before, we had saw things before, and now we have nothing. Yeah, So you feel deprived of so many things or struggle, and sometimes because of lack of wisdom, lack of training, lack of good teacher, we try to do things uh, by the dark way, 
instead of doing it in the right way, we do it the left way. Mm. But also came from the struggle to perfection, came from the struggle to regain what we have lost. If you look at the world, the miserable world, sometimes even if you are enlightened, you want to forget from the helplessness of human limitation. You see so many sufferings and so many frustration, and you couldn't do anything much. You don't know where to start to help, and you could not not help. Uh, so sometimes people take to drinking drug to forget the misery of life, to forget the frustration they have to confront to each day. Hmm? So I do not condemn anything. I just want to help those who are frustrated and who do not know the right way. I just offer the right way and say, do it this way, it's better. It's safer and lasts longer and it's happier. Yeah? It has been a joy to have your charming company on today's Words of Wisdom. Please join us again on Friday for Part 3 of Eternal Life, Universal Law. And now, please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Models of Success. Farewell and God bless. Music